Praise God. Hallelujah. How you doing, beloved church family? Wednesday evening worship service. Oh, my goodness. I miss you guys so, so much. Oh, praise God that we're going to be together soon. Amen. It's just, oh, what about this weather, right? Oh, my goodness. Now, I know many of you have seen already the, the title of this worship service this evening, titled To Be Continued. And um, no, it doesn't mean the snow or the ice. <laughs> it means something deeper than that, obviously. But um, as you guys know, Father God just loves to bless us with laughter, to rejoice that Jesus Christ is Lord, and that Holy Spirit lives on the inside, and He's in our every breath, amen, that His presence is always shining through us. And um, I'm just so excited, as always, as far as with what Holy Spirit has given us for this evening. And um, once again, I just want to say thank you so much to all the elders as far as why am I thanking the elders? Because they're obedient to the Lord. Amen. And we're united in Holy Spirit. We're one body in Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We're all members. We're all unique. Amen. Say that with me. I am a masterpiece. Amen. Unique. Hallelujah. That's a good word, right? Unique, right? Meaning that you're not like everybody else. Praise God. And our elders, they're all different. Amen. They're all different. Lance, Brad, Howard, right? I mean, Brother Charles, they're all, they're all different. Amen. They're all unique in their, in their own way. And um, I'm just so thankful that Holy Spirit united us. You know, that we're one in Lord Jesus Christ in his body. And we're unified in his spirit. Meaning, we all... Amen. I pray every soul. Hallelujah. I do. I pray every soul worships Lord Jesus Christ and allows his Holy Spirit to reign in their hearts, in their life. Amen. In their mind. Right. Remember, we're a three part being. Amen. Right. Soul, spirit and body. Right. And I, I'm just so thankful. So once again, just keep our leadership in prayer. Keep our church family in prayer. Amen. Oh, my goodness. I thank I thank you guys for all the messages, for all the texting. You know, I, I, I miss you guys so much too. Praise God. It's only by the grace of God we got out today to, 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 to record this message here in God's building. Amen. Open Arms Community Church. And um, I just had to be obedient. The Holy Spirit said go. So we just, we said go. And um, thank, thank you, Father, that he goes before us. Amen. So uh, just keep everyone lifted up. Uh, I, I, I'm going to sound like a broken record. Pray for me. But man, I miss you guys so much. It, it feels like it's been such a long time, amen? And um, I know who I'm speaking to. I know, I, I know who I'm worshiping with. We're one. It, it's, just, it's just different, right? It's different not being able to, to see your church family as often as we want to. But glory to God, a new season approaches us. We're already in it. Hallelujah. And God is, uh, is just preparing a mighty harvest in Jesus' name, amen? So before we get started in this worship service to be continued, please pray for me. Let's pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, rebuking every foul demonic thing in the name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I plead your blood and I thank you, Lord Jesus, that your Holy Spirit reigns in me, reigns in Open Arms Community Church, your holy church, Father God. That your presence, Father, is all we want. It reigns throughout our communities. Amen. Our families, our friends, our workplace. We plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, for keeping us, for protecting us. We thank you, Father God, that all your angels are around us. And Heavenly Father, as always, whoever is the mouthpiece, we pray that Holy Spirit, your anointing, your presence, that you would use them as a mouthpiece, that you would speak, Father. Speak to us, Father. Only through thy word, Lord Jesus Christ, speak to us. And it's through the power of the teacher, the Holy One, Holy Spirit, we call upon you always. We bless you, Lord. We thank you. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy and mighty name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. We haven't done this in a while, but give somebody a high five that you're with. Amen. Mm. Or give, if you're by yourself, give an angel a high five. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give an angel a high five. Give Holy Spirit a high five. Amen. I got too excited there, right? And give yourself one, of course. Praise God. Just, it's okay to be excited. Amen. Always excited. Praise God. So we're going to be in these books. We're going to be in the book of wisdom in Proverbs. We're going to be in uh, the book of Jeremiah. Now remember the prophet Jeremiah was 600 years, at least 600 years before 
Lord Jesus Christ left heaven and came to this earth. 600 years. Whoo! And then we're going to go into the new covenant, the new testament. Amen? Into the book, uh, into the book of Romans and into the book of Philippi, Philippians. Amen? And um, I'm so excited as far as what Holy Spirit has laid out for us. I mean, awe as always, I pray that you are as well. Remember, it's his presence when we choose to repent, when we choose to just bless God and just, you know, just hear the words that are being spoke. But above all, we hear the word, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit is the one that teaches us with that life conviction. Amen. With that heart conviction, the conviction to allow us to repent. Amen. And I pray that we repent this evening in whatever it may be. Amen. Whatever it may be. Because as you guys know, when, you, when things happen in this world that cause us to have to either be, I mean, let's just go ahead and say it, right? Locked down, right? Um, whether it's, you know, this whole destruction of the enemy since last year, or whether it's the weather, you know, whatever it is, things happen that the enemy hopes that he will get us into a rut, right? Into, you know, the enemy hopes that he get us into a, into a position where we're vulnerable. And this is part of what this word this evening is going to touch on. Because this to be continued, as I was in my prayer room this morning, and Trish was in her own prayer room, Holy Spirit said, there's a lot of my children right now that are watching TV. And they're watching it, it's like they're watching it beyond, I mean, they're just like gluttony. May I just say that? Praise God. It, 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 it is. It, it's to the point where, you know, there's this term called binge watching, right? And many people find it innocent to just, you know, binge watch, just binge watch. But Holy Spirit, not only did, did he convict me, but at the same time, he said, I want you to say this for this evening's worship service. There's many that are so consumed now in watching TV and when you're watching like a series, right? When you're watching a TV series, normally when it ends, normally, not all, all the time, but most of the time, it's to be continued, right? And so what happens with to be continued? It's not over yet, right? It's not over yet. So you, you want to watch the next one and then you want to watch the next one. And the next thing you know, it's three, four in the morning. You're like, oh my goodness, where did my whole day go? And right now, I don't know if that's you. I'm not judging you. That's not what we do here at Open Arms Community Church. Amen? We're just worshiping God and blessing God and saying, Father, forgive me. Forgive me, Father God. If I did that or I am doing it, we have to own up to it. Amen? We have to confess and repent and say, Father, I want to keep you first. You know, that TV show got, got a hold of me. I rebuke that. I'm not going to watch that anymore. Right? And Holy Spirit will bless you with peace, with wisdom. And I'm just so excited for that. So that's how this started. Amen? This, that's how this message started as far as with the title and everything else, to be continued. To be continued, right? And then Holy Spirit said, after we touch on this, as far as to be continued, and how there's a next one, and a next series, and a next series, and a next series, right? Father said, I want you to speak of these two things. Sanity and insanity. Now we all know, because we've heard it before, it's been preached many times, both pastor and myself, we've, we've all touched on this because Holy Spirit continues to revisit this. And I'm going to tell you, we're going to keep on doing only what Holy Spirit wants. Amen? Uh, if Holy Spirit tells me to preach the same message every week, you guys, best assured, I'm going to preach the same message every week. And the glory of God is, pastor will do the same. Because Holy Spirit, he's the teacher. Amen? And what we're, what we're talking about here is that Insanity defined is doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and to be continued. Over and over and over and over, commercial break, to be continued. Over and over and over, expecting different results. Can you believe that? That's the definition at the very root level of insanity. Expecting different results, but yet doing the same thing over and over and to be continued, right? And I'm not trying to poke fun. That's not, as you can tell, that's not the tone. 
Holy Spirit is just laying the foundation only through Lord Jesus Christ in how we're going to rebuke this insanity. Amen? And we're going to bless God because He is the only sane one. Amen? He's the only one that is perfect and has it together. Hallelujah. Are you ready? I pray that you're ready. I, I, I'm ready. I'm so excited. Amen? I'm excited to see and hear and feel what Holy Spirit has for us. Praise God in Jesus Christ's holy and mighty name. Amen? So let's get right into this. Praise God. Remember, we're going to be in the book of Proverbs. I apologize if you cannot read it on the screen, but I will read it out loud. And praise God. Thank you for all the feedback that the, that the, that the audio sounds good. Hallelujah. Um, we're just going to keep doing it because of all the feedback as far as with our church family. And uh, praise God, this is a short season we're in anyway. Um, all the snow and ice is going to be gone here shortly. And we're going to be, praise God, back into the house of the Lord. Amen. So let's read this from the book of Proverbs. Amen. The fear of the Lord. Say that with me. Fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. To hate evil pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the froward mouth. Do I hate, says the Lord. The fear of the Lord, say it with me, the fear of the Lord, is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. You will live prolonged days. Oh, hallelujah. But the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Amen. And, and let's keep in mind with the, word of the, with the word of the Lord, with the word of God, with the God that is speaking right now in his written word, prolonged days means eternity. Can I get an amen? Prolonged days means eternity. Hallelujah. Shortened days. Shortened days means when you're done, you're done. Right? So it's either, remember, it's either heaven, right? Hallelujah. It's either heaven and eternity or it's either eternity in hell. Amen. I choose to live life, hallelujah, with agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. I know you do too. Praise God. Let's continue on. Fear of the Lord, say it with me, fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. To depart from the snares of death, the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. Amen? Isn't that amazing that we all want honor, right? We all want respect. But God says, you're not going to get it if you're prideful. You have to lower yourself, lower than low, right? Be humble. Because we are servants of the master, of the perfect one, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And did he not do that for us? Amen? God himself, did he not do it for us? Right? Did he not get spat on? Did he not get his, his, his beard pulled off, his hair torn, the thorns pushed into his skull, into his brain? Right? And so God says, honor before honor is humility. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, say that with me, fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. The fear of the Lord, say with me, fear of the Lord, tendeth to life. And he hath it, abide satisfied. Right? You will, you will be content with agape in your life, and you will always be overflowing in satisfaction. Amen? He shall not be visited with evil. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. God is telling us that when we fear agape, that evil cannot even come close to us. By humility and the fear of the Lord, say it with me, fear of the Lord, are riches and honor and life. And we like to say this more abundantly. Amen. More abundantly. How we bless God, gooder and gooder. Amen. He's the only one good. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen, right? Agape, amen, agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. He's the only one good, and we proclaim at his, as his beloved children, it just gets gooder and gooder in Jesus' name, meaning, Father, I want your presence today more at this very moment than ever before in my life, hallelujah, and I want to keep on worshiping you, Lord Jesus, keep on blessing you, Lord Jesus, so that Holy Spirit's presence is overflowing mightily in my life, hallelujah, amen, let's just give God praise, hallelujah. Praise God. So I said we're reading from the book of Proverbs, amen? And as you can tell, that was the fear of the Lord. But this is what I want to touch on, because many of you right now are asking, 
Well, Pastor, you didn't put up what chapter, what verse. These are the chapters and these are the verses in the book of wisdom. Say that with me, wisdom. In the book of wisdom, in how many times the fear of the Lord is mentioned. You're talking about kings now. You're talking about rulers. You're talking about wisdom at its finest. Hallelujah. Now I know and I understand, praise God, that the written Holy Bible from front to back, the written Word of God, the Holy Bible, front to back is God's wisdom. Amen. God breathed that Word. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That breath is Holy Spirit in you and in me. He is the teacher, praise God. And He gives us this written Word, amen, so that we can fellowship with God as Holy Spirit teaches us and we read. And as you can see, what the book of Proverbs, what wisdom is teaching us is fear of the Lord. And for those of you who can't see, I'm just going to quickly go over it. Chapter 1, verse 7, 8, verse 13, 9, verse 10, 10, verse 27, 14, verse 27, 15, verse 33, 16, verse 6, 19, verse 23, 22, verse 4. All, as we just read over, all of that was from all of this scripture right here. Praise God. So say it with me. Agape. Hallelujah. Agape. Praise God. Now we're going to go real quick as far as, you know, just, just getting into the foundation. Listen, if we approach this that, oh, well, I already know that. Oh, well, that's just, you're missing it. Everything we do, whether it's at the simplest of simplest forms, it's to bless Lord Jesus Christ in worship and watch what Holy Spirit will do as He, God Almighty, as Holy Spirit teaches you, teaches me. Amen? As I'm just a mouthpiece, I'm just so excited. Say it with me, agape, amen? We know who agape is. Praise God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen? Father, Son, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen? And this is agape, praise God. And we're going to put agape centered on God's perfect sacrifice, the Messiah Himself, Lord Jesus Christ, as you can see on that screen, Lord Jesus on that cross. Amen. And this is the life, death, and resurrection. What this is, is the gospel. Good news. Amen. Say that with me. Good news. Amen. Good news, right? Hallelujah. I love good news. Praise God. And there's no gooder news than Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And this is the gospel of what we stand firm on. This is the gospel that stands for all of eternity. Hallelujah. Perfect life, perfect death, perfect resurrection. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So as we know all of this, this is what the prophet was touching on as far as the fear of the Lord. Amen. This is what Proverbs was, was touching on in all the books, right? In all, in, in all those verses as far as the fear of the Lord. Because the fear of the Lord manifested and it only came through that perfect sacrifice. You see it up on the screen. You know his name, amen. He lives in you, he lives in me. Lord Jesus Christ, amen. You see, there's no one who feared God as much and as perfect as Lord Jesus Christ did. And how did Lord Jesus Christ fear God in such a way? Well, for one, he is the only son, right? He is Lord Jesus Christ. And another, being perfect, hallelujah, Holy Spirit had and will forever have a perfect place to reside. Amen. And Holy Spirit's presence is the one that promotes and manifests the fear of the Lord. See, everyone can say, yes, I fear God. Yes, I fear God. But then the fruits of your life will be exposed. Amen. Now, once again, the fruits is not fruits for us to. Now, hear me now, family. Because I know already, because Holy Spirit says, say it like this. God allows us to inspect fruit, right? To judge the fruit of what is coming out of the tree, right? The tree of life, amen? What is coming out. But the judgment is not for us to allow darkness to come in to judge and to throw stones. No, rebuke that. That's the devil, amen? The judgment, the inspection of that fruit it's to say, okay, I see it. Father, I speak against this in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. I curse this perversion, 
right? I curse this perversion that you have shown me, Lord. I see the fruit. It's not your fruit. I curse that right now, Father God. And in love, I will speak life over them. I will pray for them, Father God. If it's a beloved family member, if it's somebody that God has given you favor to have a relationship with, this is an opportunity for you to just continuously and always speak life and blessings. Not to be a part of the curse, not to be a part of the demon, right? Not to be a curse of that bondage. No, God has anointed you, anointed me through Christ our Lord to speak blessings, to plead his holy blood, right? To put oil on your hands and to lay hands on the soul that is struggling and to speak life and to curse Amen? To curse that foul thing that's trying to come against you or your family, to lay hands on it and say, I curse this thing in the name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ. You are not of God and you must leave. And if you choose to say, I call upon you, Holy Spirit, the sword of God to cut that thing off in Jesus' name. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. Say it with me. Fear of the Lord. Amen? When you have the fear of the Lord, check this out. Say it with me, agape. Jeremiah 29, 11. Now remember, this is what the prophet says. And praise God, everything's going to tie together because it's all Holy Spirit. It's God's word, amen? Hallelujah. In Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. This is agape speaking, amen? Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Praise God. Now, you know we could have left it like that, as you can see on the screen, but Holy Spirit says, no, we're, we're past that. We're, we're going to do this the way, always the way Holy Spirit wants this delivered, this message delivered. So we're going to break down this scripture into what you see here. I know the plans I have for you. God Almighty, Agape, saying, I know, right? God is saying, hallelujah. How many of you know God is God? When he has a plan, that's the plan, Amen. And God says, I have plans that I have for you. And this is what agape says. And you have that picture right there just to show agape in all his glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. How could God have plans? How can agape have plans to prosper us and not to harm us? Because look at... Look at what Lord Jesus went through. God was made completely broken. Amen? Completely broken. Completely tortured, beaten. Harmed in every way. Not only physically, remember the excruciating pain. The excruciating pain. The word comes from crucifixion. Remember that Latin word. Right? And that root word of crucifixion is excruciating pain. But we, we know, you and I know, that the, that the pain that Lord Jesus Christ felt when he took all of my sins, all of your sins, every past, present, future, and the point where he called out, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? There, that's excruciating pain where you know your daddy and you know your good and perfect daddy and it got to the point where it's like, where are you? And then to know that Lord Jesus Christ went to hell. Do you fear the Lord? I do. Amen in every breath I do. Amen. I pray you do as well too. So we know that God has plans to prosper us and not to harm us. Amen. Why? Because say it with me, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Plans to give you hope and a future. Hallelujah. Hope. Say that word with me, hope. Amen. That's more abundantly. Praise God. That's more abundantly. Amen. And I love this when you, when you just see how everything lays out just in this scripture of what the prophet Jeremiah in chapter 29, verse 11 said, 600 years before Lord Jesus Christ, this is laid out in the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. 
in the good news, in agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen? That's what you see on that screen, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Say it with me, hope. And this hope is more abundantly. Amen? Romans 15, 13 says this. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. Say this with me, fear the Lord. Amen? Fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of, hallelujah, say his name, Holy Spirit. Amen? And once again, we're just going to keep on doing it because Holy Spirit, listen, beloved church family, I, I'm barely hanging on. It's all Holy Spirit. I, I'm just in awe of everything. Amen? Say this with me, fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. You can see this, agape. Agape says, I will fill you with joy and peace, but you have to trust in him. Who is him? Who is in him? Amen. Right, John 5? I am, you, I am in you, you are in me. Right? Apart from me, you can do nothing. Amen. Right? I am the vine, you are the branch. Right? I mean, in him. Say with me, in him. Trust in him. When you trust in him, that means... You have come to the realization, I have come to the realization that no matter what this world does, right, threatens, right, chaos, um, depression, anxiety, addiction, no matter what this world does, I fear Lord Jesus Christ, agape. I fear him far greater beyond anything else, beyond all this nonsense of this world. And the glory of God is, is that when you fear how much God loves you this way, His presence. Hallelujah. Say Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, His presence flows through you like never before, beloved church family. Like never before. And this is, what, this is how it concludes in Romans chapter 15 verse 13. So that you may overflow with hope by the power of Holy Spirit. Amen? By the power of Holy Spirit. Praise God. Therefore, hallelujah, it's therefore a reason. Amen? Praise God. My dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence. We're going to keep doing it. Praise God. We're going to keep on overlaying it with the good news. Remember, the foundation of the Word of God is the Word of God. Who is the Word of God? Lord Jesus Christ. Where does that Word reside in you and in me? He is our foundation. He is our rock. There's no place to go. Amen. I can't, I can't do anything, Father. You're all I have. Amen. And the glory of God is, is when you worship this way, Holy Spirit, He, He lives in you and in me, and He lives abundantly. Praise God. In every area of my life, in every area of our church, our families, all of the families in our church family, I speak this in Jesus Christ's mighty and holy name, that Holy Spirit's anointing His presence, His protection, His light, all His angels will surround us because His presence lives in us abundantly in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's just give God praise for that. Amen. My dear friends, as you have always obeyed, Agape is saying from the past, in the beginning, to all my children, my friends, in the past, I'm talking about from the beginning, yes, from the beginning, Adam and Eve, all the way, you know, all, all, Old Covenant, Old Testament, we're not talking about that now, but I'm telling you, in the past, before Lord Jesus Christ, God is saying, Agape is saying, you've always obeyed. That's why I call you friend. That's why you're my beloved child. You always, you always seek me. You always listen to my voice. You always listen. You, you listen to Holy Spirit. You seek me and you waited and you listened to my direction. And God is saying, you always obeyed. Now look at this in red on the screen. Not only in my presence. Here Agape is saying, not only when I came to you in the form of Lord Jesus Christ. Agape is saying, not only in my presence, when I walked on this earth, right? There's our precious agape on that cross, amen? 
And God is saying, not only, not only because I was there in, in presently, and I hear how he sums it up, but now much more in my absence. Right? Lord Jesus Christ already went away. He's seated at the throne. Amen? Yes, I know he's busy putting together the last mansions. Right? Right? There, the, the, you could see it already. Amen? There's a subdivision. Right? And it's the last one. It, it's upon completion. And the glory of God is Lord Jesus Christ will just keep on building them. <laughs> because he wants as many of he wants as many souls that he, that he paid for, right? Remember Wednesday night worship? I forgot what day it was. Was it Wednesday? Help me, Lord. Sunday, right? Where are, where are the other nine, right? Where are the other nine? And you know, I just, I just picture right now, as, as we're in worship right now, I just picture right now in all of heaven that Lord Jesus Christ, he just... He just Man, mansion after another mansion, he just keeps on going, right? Because his heart is, my children are coming, my children are coming. But only Father God, amen? Only Father God knows when the time is up, amen? Only Father God, and you know it's coming soon. Hallelujah, because Holy Spirit, amen? Remember, Holy Spirit, he only speaks what Father God allows him to. He doesn't speak on his own. It's the order of God, amen? Say with me, order. It's the order of God. And as God's beloved children, I know who I'm worshiping with. Amen. We all know. We all know. And glory to God. Rejoice. Amen. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Heavenly Father loves us so much. He's coming back for us soon. Praise God. Say this with me. Fear of the Lord. Praise God. We're going to be closing here soon. Therefore, hallelujah, therefore a reason. Amen. My dear friends, as you've always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with, with fear and trembling. Amen. Notice what happens now in the new covenant. It's no longer just fear, right? It's no longer like in the book of Proverbs. It's no longer just fear. There's an and, right? It's like the big but, amen. There's an and now, trembling. So just to share this with you, I had no idea, but Holy Spirit said to share this with you. It, it took me a little over an hour to, to, to scrape away all the ice, the snow, and everything off of our, our Volvo, praise God. And halfway through it, I started trembling because I was so cold, right? How many of you have, have trembled in the past, right? Trembled. Now here's another question. How many of you trembled because you were so afraid, so fearful of something, right? I have. I throw myself under the bus. I have, right? For those of us who have been abused by the enemy, right? By the devil, right? Tormented by the devil, right? Yes, you have a physical trembling, right? Right? That's a physical trembling because, oh, I'm freezing. Oh, I'm cold, right? And, but there's also a spiritual there's also a spiritual trembling, blah, 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 right? And the reason why this word of God says fear and trembling, it, when you're trembling to the extent when you're like, blah, 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 <laughs> right? Like I said, it just happened earlier today. I mean, I, I rushed in the house, right? I rushed in the house, put some warm water on, you know, got my hands under warm water, right? And uh, I mean, I, 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 I with, with such passion, right? With such passion, right? I mean, with everything I got, I needed to get out of the cold and get into. And this is the trembling that Holy Spirit's teaching us right now as far as in our relationship with agape, right? Everyone can say, yeah, I fear God, I fear God. But are we trembling? Are we trembling to the point where a bad thought comes that it, I don't want nothing to do with that. Get up, get away, right? Get away, right? And this is the beauty of the anointing of Holy Spirit because it's only Holy Spirit, remember, it's only Holy Spirit who can manifest fear of agape. And what is this fear? 
God loves me this much. Right? To be correct, God loves me this much. And all you see is Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that you could just smell his blood. I pray that you could see it. Right? Feel it. Feel it. And in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, the enemy, he cannot be around you in Jesus' name. Amen? Because the authority, hallelujah, the authority and the power of Holy Spirit's resurrection anointing in you and in me will overflow, will abound. Amen? And this is what God is saying. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Meaning, if there's something that's not of God, perverted, right, lustful, right, garbage. I'm talking about demonic stuff that is around you, surrounding you, or trying to get in you. When you fear God because you know how much he loves you, you know the price that was paid for you and me, and you start thanking God for what he has done, Holy Spirit in you will give you conviction and the anointing and the power to say, that's where the trembling comes. I get away from it. Right? Flee. The word of God says flee from evil. Right? Flee from it. Right? That's what I did earlier today. I fleed from the ice. Right? I fleed from the snow. I fleed from the cold. I'm, I'm done. Right? And I, <laughs> praise God. I pray some of you are laughing because, man, it, it's cold. Right? It's, it's cold. Let's move on. Praise God. Once again, we're just going to we're just going to outline everything the way God wants, fear and trembling. And the reason why is for this anointing to take place. Amen. Say with me, agape. Hallelujah. Agape. Amen. Therefore, for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. Amen. Amen. I want God's good purpose in my life. Amen. I want God's good purpose in my wife. Uh, hallelujah, amen. It's his beloved daughter, amen. His wife, his marriage, right? But see, it's, it's personal, isn't it? It's personal. That's why Lord Jesus Christ came. It's no longer somebody telling you, right? See, don't be mistaken. I'm not telling you how to worship, no. Holy Spirit is, amen. Holy Spirit is. And that's why Lord Jesus Christ came. Because now it's intimate. Now it's personal. Now he's no longer behind a curtain. Now he's no longer behind closed doors. God is now in you. If you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. I pray you do. And if not, I pray that you call Lord Jesus Christ to come into your life this evening. Amen. Praise God. Everything lines up once again to the good news, to the gospel, agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. The life, death, and resurrection of the Holy One, amen, the Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ. Every, this whole message, everything lined up to what God divinely orchestrated so that it can manifest in you and me, in His presence, in His fruit overflowing, in Jesus' name, amen. Therefore, it is God, God the Father, who works in you. Say His name, Lord Jesus Christ, right? Greater works you will do because I go back to the Father. Amen? To will and, say that with me, and to act in order. We have to be in order with God. Amen? Listen, beloved church family, this message doesn't like to be preached a lot, especially now in this new age, in this generation. You have to be in order with God. If you're living a life, if you're living a life in disobedience and you claim to be a child of God, if you're living a life not wanting to have anything to do in worship service, coming to church. You know, if you're living a life in complete disobedience, listen, I'm not judging you. Once again, I'm not judging you. But is that the fruit of God? No. So God expects us to do something about it. Amen? And that is why it's important as a church body to continuously come together. Amen? Listen, Father God already knew that we'd be off a few services because of this weather. But here's the test. Here's the test. Are we digging deep, intimately, in our worship life, that the to be continued in our life is gooder and gooder and gooder? Or when stuff like this happens with the weather, ice, 
distractions of the enemy? Is it to be continued and it just gets worser and worser and worser? I pray not in Jesus' name. And I pray that you would just take that. Amen? Just take hold of that thing. And curse that thing in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. You tell that thing, Father God, no more. I'm not going to be lazy anymore. I can see what's happening. I rebuke this in Jesus' name, Father. Because remember, if we truly fear Lord Jesus Christ, we will completely trust that what Lord Jesus did on that cross is perfect. Amen? This is his good purpose. And we're going to close on this. God's good purpose is for his presence to overflow in your life. Amen? In your life, in my life, for God to flow in every capacity. Why? Because when he does, he will lead you. He will guide you. He will teach you. He will bless you with his wisdom. He will bless you with discernment. He will bless you with help from all of heaven, his angels surrounding you. And I believe and declare this over your house in Jesus Christ's mighty and holy name. Amen. I pray that this message bless your socks off as it has mine. And I am so thankful, church family, that he's coming really soon. And beloved, the time is now for us to truly examine ourselves. Remember, because God wants his presence to overwhelm us. Will you allow him? Amen. There's somebody maybe watching right now. And thank you for watching in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. I know you're not watching because of me. You're not. You're watching because either you're crying out to God or you've been running away. Or maybe you've never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I want to thank Agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, for blessing us with this moment right now. And beloved church family, let's lift up this soul as we close in prayer. Beloved, every soul listening, you have ears to hear, let's pray together. Amen. Father God, I'm sorry. And Lord Jesus Christ, I give you my all. Father, forgive me. I repent of my sins. Holy Spirit, seal me. Live abundantly through me. In Jesus Christ's mighty and holy name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time, it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Beloved church family, bless God with your worship and giving. Please go to oacchurch.com, oacchurch.com. We thank you so much for your heart of worship through your financial giving. Amen. As you guys know, we need you. We need your help. And praise God, we have that only one need. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And thank you, Father God, that he met that need through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Spirit bless you. Holy Spirit shower you. May his presence overwhelm you like never before in Jesus' name. Love you. Miss you so much, beloved church family. Keep your whole family in prayers. Amen. God bless you guys. Mwah.